Hello, this is the Lego Wizard, and welcome to another Mindstorms video. Today I'm going to be showing you Spiker in action. So in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to work Spiker and how to make him move around. So, he has a lot of cool action features, as I said in my review of Spiker. To start off, we've got to turn him on. So let's just go and go nearer to him and turn him on. So to turn him on, you just got to press the button in the middle. The batteries are already in, so... A glow red, let's say Mindstorms is starting. Then after a while it'll go green. There we go. So now he's on. As you can see there's four different menus at the top. You can just gotta scroll across. Now it might be hard to see on the screen, but there's different controls here. Uh, on this menu there's IR control. That's not, well, that's to control him with the remote. Quickly, I'll show you the remote. So the IR remote gets a small makeover when you build this model, and it's supposed to look like a mini scorpion. I think it looks pretty cool with these legs that are just put all over, and you know, it sort of has a similar function. Pretty cool. Otherwise, it's the same as the regular old remote. So let's get back to the model. So now we just got to go over to settings, and we've got go to Bluetooth. Now that Bluetooth is on, we can go back to the uh, Android control and as you can see it's scanning for the EV3 brick and as you can see there's our one right there so we can just click that alright so now we've got to go to settings quickly set this up should be here, here it is available devices EV3 Alright, here we go. Error! Unable to communicate with EV3. Okay, give me a second to work this out, and I'll be back. Okay, after uh, trying for several minutes, trying to get this to work, I finally managed to pair it all up. Now, as you can see, it, it's on the Spiker screen here, and Spiker is ready to go. It's flashing, and it's got the... If you just leave him by himself, he does some strange things. And as you can see, he's ready to go. So, let's just put this back here, camera. And now let's see him in action. Okay, so, now as you can see, the controls on here are supposed to mimic the ones in real life. You can see the model is closing same time I am. That's awesome, as you see, the pinch is pretty powerful. It's left and right, left and right, left and right. Besides that, you can see there's also a targeting one here, and then the moving around one. So, as you can see, as I said earlier, the controls make him look like he's actually moving around. So now it looks like he's actually a scorpion and he's moving around, but really it's just that those two wheels moving left and right and alternating. So, this is why this model is just awesome for me. Last of all, as you can see, there is this target, which is used to shoot the ball. I don't know whether or not this will work. It hasn't worked before. Let's see what happens. Well, what's supposed to happen is one of those target balls can come out. But for my model, I'm, so something is goes wrong and it just flicks back. Still looks awesome, but I think the point is it's supposed to shoot a ball out. Either way, it's still a cool action feature. And just that, those legs that can move around like that, it just, it really does make this model amazing. Besides that, he has no other fancy sensors or anything, so going next to him won't do anything. But yeah. Pretty cool model. And, yeah. So, I'm gonna play around with this a little bit more. This is a Lego Wizard. Have a nice day.